medicines are remarkable things. Just think about it. You get sick, you go to your doctor. He examines you and prescribes a medicine. You take the drug and in a few days you are fine again. At least most of the time. Because there are times when drugs don't work. Or even if they do work, they come with unwanted side effects. But how do we get drugs to work as we want them to? Drug design and development is a very complex, lengthy and expensive affair. At the end of this process, we get the drugs that you and I are given when sick. Drug developments can take more than 10 years and cost more than 1 billion euros. Small wonder then that the scientific, medical and pharmaceutical communities are trying hard to make the whole process more efficient and safer for everyone involved. ACGT project uh, stands for advancing clinical genomic trials on cancer. As the name indicates, the domain of our work relates to the post-genomic era and the clinical research, i.e. clinical trials that are today executed. There's no doubt that death rates from cancer in younger people are dropping. Death rates adjusted by age are dropping. But because the population is getting older, total cancer is going to rise because the population is getting older and this cancer is an age-related disease. So we're winning the battle for individual cancers across many sorts, but nevertheless, the incidence goes up. We need to have a better and a more exactly definition of the type of cancer which is individually composed of different molecular biological findings. And if we combine those molecular biological findings with clinical data, with pharmacokinetic data, with pharmacogenetics, with imaging studies, we can try to develop models that will predict us the outcome of these patients in the computer. So, for example, the response to treatment can be simulated in a computer model. And this is one thing that is done in the ACGT project. To better understand the biology of breast cancer, uh, there have been during the last, uh, the last decade a couple of new tools which have been developed and could help to better investigate uh, the biology of breast cancer. ACGT is heavily focused on supporting basic research and the management of clinical trials. So, it was necessary for the consortium to develop tools that meet these goals. One such tool is called the ANCO simulator. Due to uh, the statistical instabilities and the rather peculiar behavior of cancer, new mathematical approaches and computational techniques have been developed. The development of the ANCO simulator uh, at this early version uh, has been completed. The Anco Simulator is an advanced research tool that is highly tuned to a specific task. Yet, studying the growth of tumors with this method will be immensely more difficult had it not been for the helping hand of visualization scientists. The uh, results that are produced by this Anco Simulator are just collections of numbers. And these numbers by themselves give a lot of information about the uh, uh, the decrease in volume or the consistency of the tumor itself. Um, but it does not give a lot of information about the morphology, the shape of a tumor. We've developed a, uh, a virtual reality type of uh, uh, interface that allows you to see patient-specific information like CT scans and overlay the predictions from the Oncosimulator model on top of that so that you can see the human body and you can see the Oncosimulator results at the same time and you can see the shape of this tumor um, reduce, hopefully until a surgeon decides that this is the point in time that the tumor has shrunk so much that it is that time that he wants to resect, operate the tumor and, and get the tumor out. ACGT has been developing other tools as well. Tools that are more open-ended and give the end user more freedom to explore things. Like for example the R suite of data mining tools that offers open software data mining and data analysis services with the ultimate goal of supporting discovery operations from combined clinical genomic biomedical data. There is too much knowledge out there which people obviously do not have enough time to access. There's about one and a half million publications being uh, published every year. So imagine a single scientist trying to catch up with all this. It's practically impossible. 
So what literature mining comes in to answer this question, which is how do I access all this information? How do I combine it? And how do I find new stuff, let's say new knowledge, that I can use in, in, in uh, practical applications? What we try to do is actually to provide the environment for the biomedical researchers uh, for uh, combining existing tools uh, in order to, to design their own experiments. This is done uh, through the use of uh, web technologies and what we built is actually a graphical user interface uh, that is accessible through the web. Powerful tools made more flexible via semantic integration and hopefully better able to support doctors and researchers in their search for more effective and personalized healthcare. ACGT must also contend with the ethical and legal implications of their use. It's important to take care of the special needs, of data protection needs of the patients because we are dealing with very sensitive data down here. It's data about cancer and in some cases it's genetic data and cancer genetic data is probably the most sensitive data you can ever think about and therefore data protection is probably the most important legal issue you need to take care of in such a project. It is still in the early stages but some ACGT members are already reporting significant results. ACGT itself has a fantastic idea. The idea is bringing together people from different specialities like people from the ethical side, from the clinical side, from the molecular biology side, from basic research and so on. And they all share their knowledge and they work together, facing on the point to bring new insight in cancer, in the way of diagnosing cancer, cancer in the way of treating cancer. And this will lead at the end, with the help of an IT informational structure, to new horizons in uh, saving lives in cancer treatment and this is something we want to get.